has officially done it. Hold up. Let me get the lighting. Let's be super clear here. 2K patch shooting. Now, people come to me on Twitter saying, Agent 2K patch shooting all the time. Literally, anytime someone misses a couple shots that they think they should have made, they tweet me about it. So I always take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. So I'm like, I had four or five guys, 10, 20 guys telling me. I was like, yo, what are you talking about? And I was like, nah, I'm still hitting. Because remember, a couple days ago, I retired my pure sharp, and now I'm playing on my playmaker and so I just thought, nah, I'm supposed to be making less because now I have an 80 open shot three and on top of that, I don't have any of my badges yet. And the first thing I heard was amateur one was hit. And when I say hit, I mean literally if the green window was 48 milliseconds before, it cut in half. The make percentage in general just went down. So I was about to lose my mind because I thought 2K was done patching jump shots. I was like, why are they still doing? Why would you patch individual jump shots? That doesn't make any sense to me. Because I know for, not for a fact, but I know they were doing it last year because jump shots that are wavy just went broke the first few months and then they stopped doing it, at least from my experience. Later in the year, I felt good just giving out all my jump shot secrets because 2K wasn't patching specific jump shots anymore. So when I found out that they did this, I was like, yo. And then as the day went on, we were starting to find out like all the jump shots were getting hit I was playing with at least three people over the last couple days that were using my a1 release and they were bricking now you don't have to be a phenomenal player you could be the most average player and still hit with the a1 release so it was baffling me and then I started to find out literally all the other popular jump shots were hit and everyone's saying the same thing the shooting is nerfed I'm like I, in general, so they're not patching specific jump shots, thank God. They just nerf shooting in general. Like, I play against some of the worst people sometimes, and they'll still pull like 30, 40%. And if you guys remember, the reason why we can't play rookie on my career, and even last year they were boasting about how tough the AI has gotten, and now they keep players to under 30%, or etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In 2K's mind, they're thinking, yo, the fact that literally anybody can shoot 50% plus, and if you're a good player, you're almost shooting 80% plus it's crazy that's a really high percentage and they're just trying to bring it down now a person tweeted at me they're like agent I don't want shooting to be nerfed because you want to appeal to the top 10% and I'm like yo first of all let's be super clear I don't know how much power you guys think I have but I've been complaining about a whole ton of stuff and it never ever gets fixed <laughs> like how long have I been talking about microtransactions? If I had the power to just change stuff by talking about it, trust me, I'd be talking about the issues every single day. We'd have a perfect game, but that's not the case. I just talk about my experience on the game and plus I would never assume that everybody wants to play the way that I want to play, which is why, yo, let me say it with y'all, man. Let's say it together. One, two, three, rank unranked. Did we say it? Did y'all say it with me? Ranked unranked. Think that makes sense? I was actually gonna ask, what does that mean? You don't know what that means? I swore, oopsie, daisy. Bro, you trying to demonetize my video, man. <laughs> I that's why I can't talk to you. Bro. I swore. I can't talk to you. Cause that's the solution we all know about. So here's what's gonna happen. Shooting is nerfed. I'm, personally, if, if it's shooting in general is nerfed, I'm happy about it. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed. I like literally right when I retire my pure sharp, you're trying to tell me shooting is nerfed. And the main reason for retiring my pure sharp was agent is too easy to shoot. So I wanted a challenge. I hopped on my sharpshooting playmaker, primary playmaker, secondary sharpshooter. And that's a serious challenge now. Like in, as a sharpshooter, I can lose focus. And because like you're 99, you have all the badges, like you're gonna make your shots even if you lose focus. But on the build I have now, I can't lose focus or I'm not gonna hit from limitless, period. And probably the only frustrating part about it for me is for whatever reason, 2K feels like they don't need to be transparent. Like, keep in mind, like, all right, cool, 2K. You could do it, 2K, you could add lag into the game for all I care. I just want it to be in the patch notes so we know. Every other game I play, when there's a fix, they declare it in the patch notes, and they let the community react however the community reacts, and they'll go from there, right? But the way 2K does it is they put it in the patch notes, and if people hate the reaction next time around, they just don't put it in there. There's a lot of stuff that wasn't put in the patch notes that were positive that they didn't talk about. Now I get it, some of y'all might say, Agent, the patch notes are summaries, but so much has changed since the patch. It's like you, when someone's playing a game, they have to know what to expect. When I have people, like the fact that there's even, like we have to test stuff just to find out what changed, I think it's crazy. But still, I agree. At the end of the day, people want control over their player. I saw people in the comments of yesterday's video, I was hitting from crazy with my playmaker, right? And people like agent, people, one, one, there was a different group of people. There was, the majority was like, 
that's what's up, Agent. All right, we knew, okay? But I saw some people truly like offended that I was able to do that and that they couldn't hit with a sharpshooter. But it's not even like I'm hiding anything. I made videos showing exactly what I'm thinking and like all my, everything. I release videos on everything. There's no point in me releasing more jump shot videos aside from to show y'all new different types of jump shots. There's no new tips. All the tips are out there. It's like if I hopped in a diamond lobby in Rainbow Six and then I just got mad that the guys were aiming better than me. It's like, that's what they do. They play the game all day. Is they're gonna aim better than me. And then I get frustrated because they hit me through the wall. I'm like, how did they know I was through the wall? But this is a this is a bigger issue than just shooting. It's more than just shooting. Last week, there was a Ruffles event that was supposed to go down. Not the one that just passed, the one before that. And we waited up until the event and Ruffles had to tweet out that there were server issues on 2K's part. And there, no, they didn't say server, they said technical issues, servers. And we didn't hear it from a dev. We didn't hear it from the 2K Twitter, a community manager. We heard that there was a technical issue through Ruffles' Twitter account. And we didn't hear it like a day before, an hour before. We heard it literally 10, 20 minutes after the event was supposed to start. So that means somebody sat down there on Ruffles' Twitter and was like, so no one's gonna say anything. Cause they're, they're directing the hate towards Ruffles. And then they're like, yo, if y'all don't say anything, we're gonna say something. And they put out a tweet and then people are like, oh, that's this what went wrong. So it's a bigger issue. It's like, can we just be transparent? There's an issue. Fix it. Now, the challenge with transparency is when you continue to mess up over and over and over again, it looks bad. I read some tweets from a bunch of different people saying like, yo, 2K communities, everybody's just bashing mindlessly. And I was taken aback by that because what you're asking the consumers to do when you say stuff like that is just to see something worth very real criticism and go, nah, we'll just wait for it to get better, hopefully, eventually. Like we know the 2K devs wanna make a great game. They don't go in their intention with wanna make it, like come on, they're, that's what their job is. They create this game, they want this to be polished and amazing, but when there's issues, like, you can't play with East Coast, West Coast. The fact that some people think we're not supposed to be talking about that, to me, is crazy. And it only ever really sinks in for me when I do it in contrast to every other game I play. I, any other community I'm in on YouTube, like, whether I'm watching a Rainbow video, a Tekken video, whether... Yo, guys, I watch fitness videos, okay? Hold your jokes. I've been watching fit... I know everything... No, I'm boosting, but I know a whole ton about nutrition. I just don't exercise those? Anyway, what I'm saying is... Relative to every other game. I saw Boogie the other day made a video about 2K18 microtransactions. He doesn't, like, this is Boogie! When has Boogie ever said anything about a sports title ever? Anybody that doesn't worry about sports, in their minds, sports games don't even exist. So the fact that he brought it up, and it was in the title! Dr. Disrespect talked about it. There's a bunch of people outside the community that are looking at this like, and it's really sinking in for people. They, they see what Star Wars Battlefront 2 is trying to do. Right? The microtransactions are taking over. EA and 2K are, are heading this thing, right? They're the, they're the ones that, they are the most egregious offenders of microtransaction violations on the internet. And although most of us understand there's a place for them, it's, there's a part where you go too far. And so what, am I not supposed to be able to criticize them for doing that? Do you know how many times I've been told that my feedback was gonna be passed on to the devs? And I know it was. Like, it's not like they say it and they don't do it. They pass it on to the devs. And I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if there's not enough people working on it. I don't know if they just don't have the resources to finish it. So, all right, let's do this. Whenever a change is made in the game, we just want to know about the change. The game plays well for me. I enjoy it. But all around the game are these issues preventing me from enjoying it. You try and play Ruffles. I just want to enjoy it. The first week was enjoyable. Then we, I'm trying to hop on and enjoy the second week of the Ruffles event for, uh, like, uh, y'all got Chris Move making rant videos. If I tweeted this, if Chris Move is making rant videos about your game, you have issues. I'm happy that they changed the shooting. I think that they should stop changing it so often. If they left it the way it was, I would have been fine with it. So I just want to make it super clear. It's still possible to shoot. If y'all want to see jump shot tutorials, I have a whole playlist. I'm going to link it in the description and put it in the card above. Just, just pay attention to it, because if you can't do it after that, then I don't know what to say, I can't help you. But shooting isn't, like, when I say they made it more difficult, it's not challenging, like, it's still like, I don't have to sit there like, I can't shoot! Like, I'm just, square, I did it, you know? I think I have to revisit my A1 release, because the sad reality is, I low-key think that it's gonna be demoted to an A2 
pushing A3. And I don't even use A3 releases, but I'll have to test it to see. The people I've been playing with that used it have been just breaking. So we'll see if I could do any better, but unfortunately 2K is gonna have to make me pull my sharpshooter out of retirement temporarily so I can test some more jump shots. I thought I was done testing jump shots, bro. I had the catalog ready. I knew what I was gonna use to shoot. And, and now we're back, we're back in the lab. Anyway, uh, you, everyone's gonna have different opinions on this, so I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Yeah, I didn't say it at the start of the video, but if y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out, peace.